Oh, I've just noticed this. It's quite good. This looks great. It's just about extreme golf, the most ridiculous golf courses out there, like the highest, the lowest, where the ball travels the furthest, the hottest, the most dangerous. Um, it does look pretty hard as well, to be honest. So just this kind of shit just appeals to me, really. Yeah. I had like my first kind of bizarre bout of um, depression, anxiety when I was 13. When we just finished recording the first album, that was when I started taking the citalopram. I didn't really feel like I was necessarily there in the tour, if that made sense. I was having the time of my life, but kind of felt a bit hazy and a bit disconnected. Depression, anxiety are, are pretty pretty powerful beasts. Way before thinking about being in a band or whatever, all I wanted to do was like be a tour pro. Yeah, I was obsessed with it. Golf is like meditation in a way, or a TM or something, because you're just focused on one little stationary ball. There's not really much else. And if you're like me, you've had so many lessons that you're kind of thinking, right, well, I need to do this and the plane and all that crap. and then. <laughs> Whether you hit a good shot or not, you've had to think so intensely on this one object that um, all your other problems, they just disappear. It's obviously an escape in the same way that music can be. I don't know, for me it's just a time where I'm like truly at peace or at one with myself. I'll, even though I'll spend hours in the studio, sometimes the best ideas come when my head is clear and I'm on a golf course and I'm not trying to force anything out. It's like so important to me, it's as important as like having, making sure you've got a good doctor or having a family, like having a dog for me, even though she's like the worst dog ever known to man um, and she's just like a money swamp. Just her presence has just made me so much happier. Um, kind of happier than any amount of money or anything. It's this typical Daisy where like there's this massive view but she just won't look at it. She just doesn't enjoy the good parts about life. You know I don't really know w w where I'd be without the game really. In some ways, kind of, I, I can be proud of my depression and my anxiety. Obviously, it's done some pretty fucked up things to me, or I've had some bad moments. But at the same time, it's really kind of propelled me to be who I am and where I am now. <laughs>